Hello, Spuds here with Goose doing a rig tour with Ryan Storm with Storm Sound. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Um, I wanted to call it a rig rundown, but <laughs> apparently it's copyrighted by some lame people, so we can't say. This isn't a rig rundown. We would never do that. That would be ridiculous. I'll give you a rig tour instead. So let's do it. Um, you want me to, anywhere you want me to start? Start or? wherever you want. Uh, cool. Let's start with the kit, the drums. Uh, Tama Star Classics Exotic 2 is the series. Found on Craigslist, got very lucky. It's numbered 33 out of 38. Uh, the wood is Babinga and Koa. Um, and they are just, I love these drums. 8, 10, 12, 16. I have a 14 inch also, but I don't like reaching all the way over here for the 16, so it is there. Um, so those are the drums, and I have the matching snare, the same. Uh, Star Classic matching snare with the kit, numbered and everything. Um, and then over here, uh, with my popcorn snare, little eight inch snare. Um, Fortune Drums, I believe it is. Got it at like a little small store uh, called Stebble Drums. And that was in Cleveland, really cool music store. Um, and love this thing, has a great crack and just gives me like a nice tone variety from the bigger snare over here. Um, it's probably pretty apparent when I change from one to the other one. This one's just a lot. It cuts a lot more, it's a lot higher pitched, and it's a little bit more snappy. This one probably has a little bit more body and a little bit more depth to it. Um, so they each kind of work for different things. Um, sweet, symbols. Uh, so I am with Zildjian, because Zildjian is the greatest company ever, uh, for real. And not only the symbols they make, but like, I've gotten to know the people involved now, and they're like, I, I love them. They're, they're great, and they take care of us. So thank you, Zildjian. Um, been using the K 15 inch uh, light hi hats. I love these things. Um, this stack right here is just kind of a mix of a, a K splash over a couple older Zildjian cymbals. We have an 18 inch uh, K custom dark crash, a 10 inch K splash. This is my new favorite symbol. I love this thing. The 17 inch custom special dry trash cat. Trash crash. Um, really like dirty, trashy sounding, but decays very quick and, and then it's just gone. So it doesn't like take over the mix or anything like some big Chinas can do. Um, over here, my ride symbol. I've actually been kind of going back and forth between three different rides recently over the last few months. Um, for a while, I landed on a, a Zildjian Kurope, uh, which I love. And I was actually using that uh, until a couple shows ago. Um, and then I also have a couple Zildjian Constantinopoles that I've been swapping out. This is a 20 inch uh, uh, Renaissance Constantinople. And I also have a 20 inch uh, medium uh, Constantinople. And I honestly don't know which one I like better. I like different things about them. So I kind of been swapping them out based on how I feel. Um, so yeah, we're going with the, with the Renaissance Constantinople tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, 19 inch uh, K dark crash, thin crash. Um, and here's just another stack with like a couple bro broken symbols that just kind of slosh together to make that sort of trashy sound. Um, then we got a couple cowbells. Uh, I just got this thing, my main cowbell that I've had for years and it was like a very generic cheap cowbell but like developed some cool tone after getting beaten on for many, many years. It actually finally cracked just like a week ago. It started making, like I hit it, it can't even find the crack, but it sounds like there's some sort of micro crack in it. So it, like it's, the, the tone is off. So my new cowbell that I had gotten over here recently got moved to here. And then I just added this, which is a really, really special piece of gear that I just got. Um, uh, Chuck from Lotus who passed away recently uh, was very, very close with our stage manager, Padge. And so Padge uh, inherited some of his percussion items and uh, he offered for me to be able to use this uh, little cowbell rig thing. Um, and I, I mean, it's, there's like a vibe coming from it. I feel, I'm like very honored to use it. It's one of those things that like, I just, I wanna make it, I wanna make every note I play on this thing just like sound as good as possible and like play it with intention and make it feel good. Um, so I've been kinda, getting to know this piece it's the newest piece of gear i have but it's it's a lot of fun just these different tones so it's cool you can kind of make little melodies with them and uh have some cool melodic things there 
Um, also, other symbol I forgot is the Zildjian Spiral Stacker. Um, besides looking really cool, it's really makes some like, I don't know, it's good for like trippy stuff. Whenever we go to like random noise and like washiness, it's really fun to just like do that sort of thing. But also it's kind of a cool, cool uh, like sizzly bell tone to it. Um, so it's a little bit more versatile. Um, but yeah, this is the setup. Uh, am I missing anything? Got a DW9000 pedal. Um, got like a big first stick holder here. Um, some towels strategically placed. I sweat a lot when I'm playing, so I need to be able to like grab real quick, dry off my hands. Um, here we got little drinks and stuff. It's usually a bunch of like half finished things, whatever I'm bringing up for sound check or shows. Always a Yerba. Um, over here, actually, so this is a new thing that normally isn't there, this whole battery pack here. So this we added because uh, a couple of days ago uh, in Eugene, randomly, and I don't, know, I don't know what happened, but something happened where my sound was just terrible, like something was off in the system. And we had to mid first set, come and swap out, put some cans on, some headphones, uh, and give me one of these battery packs. Uh, so we have this here just as a backup. So if there's any issues with anything we have, any cables or anything, um, I can plug into here instead of over here and swap out with that and everything will work just the same and uh, just a backup just in case because you know you never know what can happen. Um, but that is that is the rig. Am I missing anything? Anyone else you want to know, Ryan? I think that's it. What is there anything coming up soon to the rig that you can talk about? Uh, that's a good question. You know, I'm kind of like there's always more things and sounds and and tones I want to add, but I'm kind of running out of real estate for where I can comfortably move around to. Um, I do plan on upgrading this thing to one of those uh, like clap stack type things, because uh, that's kind of why I made this, to kind of emulate one of those. Um, so I'll, I'll plan on replacing that sooner than later, but honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything I have going on here and just trying to get more comfortable with it. And uh, I'm sure I'll keep adjusting as we go, but I mean, right now the biggest new thing is like our new system and these new clan controllers and just the way it can control everything. Uh, it's been really incredible and, and fun to get used to. So we're just constantly dialing in and, and trying to get all the better sounds and, and you know make it sound as good as we can. Perfect. Uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks, Ryan.